First match of the night, guys, Quarantine Report, Third Strike. This is Quarantine Report number four. We're raising money here for Direct Relief. Use the donate command in the chat, guys. I'm begging you. I'm sorry, guys. We got the, the void here. That's fine. It's the first game. Here we go. Paradise round one. We're in there. So we got uh, Billy Bob is playing Akuma here. Time Bomb is rocking uh, SA1 Ryu, my favorite Ryu. There's a fight cage bug that's late to spectate. We're in the void. It's only for the first game, though. Billy Bob's from corner pressure. Oh, man. Time Bomb lets his uh, guard down too early. Whiff grab and sweep. Billy Bob kind of stuck in the corner. Good block there. Don't beat that damage. You can punish that sweep a little bit too slow. You need to press sweep there in any case. Okay, Billy Bob playing some pressure here. It's kind of hard for Time Bomb to get out of there. Once Time Bomb was in the corner, he couldn't get out. Let's see if Time Bomb can uh, can actually push the corner this time. Okay, ooh, good block. Okay, walk himself in the corner, unfortunately. That's rough. He sweeps to jump in, though. Okay, got crossed up. It's so annoying. When you're playing the short character and Goki touches over your head, it's so hard to block the other way. Thank you, Nightbreed, but please report your scores on Challenge. Don't report scores to Twitch chat or on Discord. Oh, no. Oh, okay, he didn't get a combo on that jump in, though. I like a super cancel there, but it was, uh, it was all blocked by Billy Bob. Thank you, Nipperman. I'm sorry, that's my fault. Let me start that for you, Billy Bob. Excuse me, uh, uh Nipperman. First game goes to Billy Bop. I would see some backgrounds here finally. Now, find a new rival. Welcome to the world of the Street Fighter series. I've been waiting for the year for the battle. Well, I got here we go. So we got a character switch from Time Bomb. I'm going to Kensington. Are you ready? I like that switch. Go. Ken, a very strong character in this game. It's that both these players are kind of, uh, you know, relatively uh, fresh to the game. Maybe not lifers, which I love. Always good to see new players. Okay, Mrs. Punish Now, anytime you block a sweep, guys, you can sweep right back if you're Shoto's. As long as it's not too far away. Right there, you can counter that with a sweep. That's fine. Okay, it seems like Time Bomb has a habit of kind of like running away into the corner and having trouble getting out. There's nothing unusual among beginner players. <gasps> okay, that's nice. Okay, I like the way the Time Bomb's kind of being patient, though. Better to be patient than not to be patient, right? As a beginner, it's very tempting to kind of just kind of mash buttons and, and hope for the best. I like how Time Bomb is sort of biding his time. Nice period there on the fireball. Biding his time in the corner and trying to find a way out, but Billy Bob's not making it easy for him. Oh, wow! If that had worked, it would have been amazing. He gets one hit off the super off that parry, but not quite the whole thing. Okay. Here's a run for Time Bomb. Might be able to tie it up here. Go. Jump back, Tatsumaki actually connects in the air. That's amazing. Let's go. Jump in, that's a combo, nice. Jump in uh, roundhouse, Schwepp. Time bomb, kind of staring his opponent down. We're building some bar off these parries. Uh-oh. Okay, we're seeing Billy Bob saying, oh, you're gonna block and hold this grab then. Oh no, went for the raw super, they're hoping that Billy Bob would dash up or something. I believe time bomb has no bar left. So we're seeing Billy Bob kind of slowing it down here the second round. Just sort of spacing him out. Hitting these sweeps at far distance. Get the super. Okay, he was able to block that other dying from the chip. Fireball is punished by the jump in roundhouse. Final round. Now. If I'm understanding correctly, it seems like Liquid Ted might not be available right now, guys. Liquid Ted, make sure you're available for your fight. It seems like Kirby's looking for you.
I think so, Big Bucks. I think they're both new players, which is great. Love to see new players. Oh, he's got a little combo there for jumping. Wasn't able to get a cancel, though. Here's Time Bomb's last chance. It's gonna be hard. Oh, that might be Chip. Good games to Billy Bob. He goes 2 0 over Time Bomb. This is double the limb, guys, and you're not out of the tournament until you lose two sets. We see that um, Time Bomb loses his first set there. But he's still alive in the Hades or the lower bracket. Let me adjust the scores myself here. Thank you guys for reporting your own scores. I appreciate that. Again, if there's any kind of errors, let me know. If I report something incorrectly, it can definitely happen. The score is 2 0 for Billy Bob there. Congrats to Billy Bob for advancing into winner's round two. Unfortunately, Time Bomb descends into the Hades bracket. Up next, can we get uh, Days versus Can Can McCam? Put that on, uh, on Discord here. At uh, uh, Mixer and at uh, Can Can, you guys are up on stream. Please fight. I think this is Kirby here who says that their opponent, Liquid Ted, is not available. Thank you, Kirby. I will get that all sorted out. This outside bracket. Here we go. Yeah, so all of the looters bracket is going to be off stream. I'm going to let guys know what's going on. Where are you at, Liquid Ted? Your match is up. Ken, Ken, and Days are in there. Excellent. Thank you so much, guys. Here we go. All of the uh, lower, all of the, all the loser bracket is going to be off stream until top eight. Losers round one and two definitely can play off stream. Please. Are you ready? Go. We've got Can Can and Days. Days controls seem to be working. Excellent. All right, Days seems like he's playing a little bit more confidently than we've seen so far. He's walking back into that roundhouse. I think he has a sense of how to play this game. Likewise, Can Can kind of spacing out his little forwards. These players seem a little bit more experienced than the last ones we saw. But I love seeing all skill levels come out and play third strike. A big duff stare towards Fierce. Pushing Kankan th toward the corner. Kankan has Bar, though. Out of there with the Tatsumaki. Never count Ken out. Oh, wrong low forward super. Almost evens up the health here. Get the taunt, that's extra damage. Oh, no. Okay, he didn't get the punish, though. Kankan still has a shot, a shot here. Okay, got that deep jumping roundhouse. Gonna get a combo off of it. Oh, no, he didn't want that. I think he wanted low forward super. Okay, dash under the grab. Nice punish here from Days. Okay, almost did the whole combo. That Rose gives Dudley more damage. He still has it. There it is right there. Oh, made a lot of damage out of it, too. Okay, Backswing bluff. I didn't know that worked on DPs like that. Can't get at the corner. It's gonna be rough from this point on. Get the crushing short after he jumps in. That's one for Days. You win. Now, find a new rival. Welcome to the world of the Street Fighter. Yeah, yeah, well, hey, the battle. Let's fight. Like Are you ready? Go! Okay, wake up, DP. Can't get his big life lead here. Dave's been inside of his head with that backswing blow. Making the grab whiff. Go. Let's 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 go.
his nice little life lead here. Oh no. That backswing blow is doing a lot of work in this set. Oh, poke and tournament, nice a combo. Definitely super sick combos here. He also up a, a, a game right now. Nice punish you from days. Can Can is not rolling over though. Nice target combo there, jeez. So Can has a lot of bar, but not a lot to do with it. Unless you can confirm your super, it's kind of hard to spend Ken. Oh my god. Good games to Can Can McCann, who descends into the loser's bracket. Days advances 2 0. Good stuff, guys. That was Days versus Can Can McCann. Days, adva excuse me, uh, Days advances 2 0 over Can Can. Can Can played pretty good, though, honestly. Up next, we've got Quote and EFZ Player on stream, guys. Quote versus EFZ Player. That's Guru Slum. You guys are up now on stream. Go ahead and fight. Thank you guys for reporting your own scores and stuff. As a reminder, please at me if you guys have any problems. And let me get uh, the dudes on stream. Quote versus EFZ is already in there. Why are they going so fast? I like that. Yeah, backswing blow is tough, Nipper Man, for sure it is. Oh no, Crook. Welcome to the world of Street Fighter 3. Well, I got the picture. Well, I got the picture. Prepare to strike now. So we got uh, uh, Guru Slum playing Alex. Nice. I like that deep jump in Fierce as well. That's what I would do. Also, a good color here. Crown goes to a quote. Right. Quite dominant, in fact. Into the heat of battle. Go for it. Oh! Jumping LK tick grabs? Dude, EFZ plays just like me. <laughs> Let's go, Guru Slum. Ooh, the post route challenge. You gotta try and perfect me, dog. Please don't. Please don't. One more, Arnold Carlos. Okay. Let's see if you regress that taunt here. Oh my god, the Guru Slum? Who is this dude? Yeah, I know I love Al. Okay, wake up the flash kick and get off me, please. Get too close, man. Okay, cool, looking pretty dominant this round. Oh no. Oh wow, that beat the schwep at that range. Ooh, the top back. That's one for quote. Now, find a new rival. Let's see if Guru Slum can uh, even it up here. I love the name Guru Slum. It's a pleasure to say. Fighters ready. Engage. Well, the Guru Slum says to all you guys, anybody want to play Eternal Fighter Zero, hit me up. That's his shout out for the tournament. Hit up Guru Slum, guys, for some Eternal Fighter Zero. Mixer says here, if I put any thought into my gameplay, I would risk feeling bad about making a wrong move. So if I just do the one thing, then there's no responsibility. That's put from side. Thank you for being here, uh, Mixer. Oh my. Oh, what? Fighters ready. Engage. 
time bombs. So thank you for these tournaments. They are a lot of fun. Oh my god, why is who is this guru slum guy? Why is he so salty? Time bomb says, thanks for these tournaments. They are a lot of fun. I'm very happy to participate in this tournament. Thank you for being here, time bomb. You're a fucking pleasure to have you. Oh my. Oh, he evened it up, Guru Slow. Oh, he missed a taunt there. That's unfortunate. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to Billy Bob for filling in a shout out as well. Billy Bob shout out for the tournament is just wanting to say to everyone watching this is worthy of being happy. Keep fighting and stay strong. Thank you, Bobby. That's me, a Billy Bob. Just want to say that everyone who's watching is worthy of being happy. Keep fighting and stay strong. Thank you, guys. Here we go. Third and final game for these two. And I believe the final on stream game of uh, Winners Round 1. Quote Kicking a lot of ass right now. Wake up super. Keeping Guru Slum in the corner. A little shimmy there. <gasps> Alright. <laughs> oh, round one is already like this. Into the heat of battle. Go for it. I like the movement here from uh, from Guru Slum. Quote pushes them all the way in the corner from the opposite side. Guru Slum did a little leapfrog there. Anti years. <gasps> oh no, that's safe against uh, Remy. The EX flash elbow. They're really kind of a bootleg DP there. Whoa! Guru Slum working his way in. Quote, big life lead right now. And the round lead might be it right here. Get patience from Guru Slum. Oh, good fucking games, guys. That was a really fun set there. Quote takes it 2-1 over Guru Slum. That is 2-1, guys. And that is winner's round one. Thank you guys for reporting your own scores. You guys are amazing. I can hardly believe how well this tournament is uh, panning out so far. Let's see what's going on here with winner's round one. Okay, is that everybody done here? Not quite. So we're going to actually advance a little bit. Unfortunately, Crook Cook could not find his... Uh, could not find his Ethernet cable tonight. We're going to actually move Robib up here. Crook Crook is uh, eliminated. Disqualified. Hopefully next time, dude. So we need some scores from Liquid Ted and Curb Kirby. We have not seen Liquid Ted. He did check in. But now we need to get that score. So if they're not fighting, actually double check on uh, Discord. Okay, okay. So Liquid Ted is here now. Excellent. Hopefully he's playing his match. We're going to actually move on and let him do his game then. So I have to decide what match is going to be on stream and winners round two. I'm going to remind the folks at home that we are doing um, all of losers off stream until top eight. So we're going to say here, um, you know, uh, as a reminder to quarantine rapport. I'm sorry, this is not a reminder, not in fight cage chat, you dumb dumb, but in discord. Quarantine all them dudes. You already know. As a reminder, all of the losers bracket is going to play out off stream until top eight. If you have a match down there, go ahead and do it. We're now moving on to winner's round two. And I'm going to let y'all know who's playing on stream. And once again, I'm trying to fixate on people that I don't see all the time. It's my pleasure as a third strike streamer to see a lot of these players play quite often. Let's see here. So do we have any sets here from players that I don't see all that much? Honestly, not uh, that much. All these guys I already know, which I'm really grateful for. Why don't we have Goss and Quote on stream? I'm going to let them know that first of all. So we're going to have uh, Goss uh, and Quote uh, are going to be on stream. Uh, please wait to be called. Likewise, let's go see what's going on over here. Uh, let's do... Um, Hmm. Why don't we do uh, uh, Neon versus Billy Bob? Neon Wright versus Billy Bob on stream. Thank you for your patience, guys. You guys are going to be on stream. Please wait to be called. Let's have one final look here. Nipperman and Gorka could be fun. 
Audrey Apple's only remember both friends of mine. Exodus and the DAC. Hmm. Nipperman and Gorka. Let's do Nipperman and Gorka on stream. I'd love to see the DAC play. Seems like a really uh, top tier dude. But unfortunately, we gotta kind of move things along here. I'm not XO, but Gorka and uh, his opponent is uh, is Nipperman. Are gonna be on stream. Please wait to play. Here we go, guys. So now we're gonna add a quarantine report one more time. Thanks for your patience off all these pings, guys. All other matches in winner's round two. Please play off stream. Winner reports scores on challenge. Gorka and Nipper are gonna be up first. Please play now. Thank you guys. Glad to see Lookshed's finally playing here. That's excellent. The Gorka will nip you. Excellent. It's like to hear, guys. Love to hear about people getting nipped right in the Gorka. Here we go. Nipper is a player from Chicago. He's a great dude. I don't know Gorka that well. Paradise round two. Here we go. Let's get it in. Gorka and Nipper. First of two guys. Yeah, I'm waiting for this. So Gorka says here, check out Gorka Man on Twitter and itch.io. Makes good games. You guys like independent developers? I know that Oomph does. You guys check out Gorka's uh, itch.io page. You can probably find it on Google by Googling Gorka Man and itch.io. They're also on Twitter. Give him a follow, guys. Gorka on the left with the uh, Banana Mac versus Nipper Man playing Denjin Ru. Grips. Okay, Schweppes. That's a bit and grip the Karaksa. Very scary. This is the combo, though. That fierce will combo if done soon enough. Nipper having some problems building some barn. Oh, nice parry there. Oh, trying to build some barn for next round. Very sneaky. Instead of going for the kill, he's running away and whiffing. Might give Gorka a chance here. Air to air from Nipperman. Saves the day in the first round. Fighters ready. Engage. Dash of Karaksa. Again, misses the combo. I think uh, Gorka wanted standing fierce there, not crouching fierce. That's a punish on the blocked Hayate. The dash punch. Not quite stunned yet. There's the overhead. Classic. Wake up super. Oh, what a block for Nipper there. And a punish. Super sick. That's one for Nipper. Both these characters are notoriously degenerate. I love seeing them fight. Now, fight a new I hate fighting them, but I love seeing them fight. As a reminder, guys, this is Quarantine Rapport, number four. We're raising money for direct relief. Use that exclamation mark donate command in the chat. If you guys want to help out and raise some money for the fight against COVID-19. Nice punisher from Nipper off that parry. Touching Fierce Tattoo Mac. Okay. I believe that sweep is safe against uh, Ryu. I don't think he can sweep it back at that range. Maybe he's not at all. Corner dungeon set up. Nice one from Nipper. It's rough, Vince. It's rough. Negative Bro. six is a uh, is a bitch. I think she wanted the dash of Karaksa there, but got the kick instead. That's fine. It connected. Got some damage. Nipper has the corner and has bar now. Oh no! Oh, what a parry from Nipper! From Gorker, I'm running away to be honest. Oh no! What's the dash of grab there? And Nipper sees it coming with that neutral jump. Good games to Gorka, who descends into the Hades bracket. Likewise, Nipper. Good games. Nipper advances 2-0 over Gorka. 
Let's fill that in. Good games, good games. Up next on stream, why don't we do uh, Neon Riot versus Billy Bob? I'm going to at these dudes so they know what's going on. At Neon Riot, at Billy Bob. Please fight now. You guys are amazing. One more time, guys. Check out uh, Gorka Man on itch.io and Twitter. Here we go. GG's, Gorka. What's up, David? Really enjoying your play by play commentary. Thank you, uh, David. There are those that are not the biggest fans, and if you guys don't enjoy the commentary, I apologize. That's just my style. Likewise, I'm kind of got my hands full tonight. We're doing some TO in and some streaming and some commentating tonight. You guys have been really cool in that respect. They're really making it easy for me. Yes, I have no idea what that means to me. Neon Wright versus Billy Bob. Here we go. Nice to meet you, David. David J. Lemon. I want to say David g -Man, but it's David J. Lemon. Something has gone horribly amiss here. What's going on? What's going on? Looks like there's a disconnection there. Let's try it again, folks. They will follow Yuki Kyochan. They were playing tonight, Kyochan. Sorry for making y'all wait. Seems like there's some kind of uh, issue. This will be fun, Kyochan. I love this game profoundly, guys. I stream through us here at least once a week. Oftentimes more than once a week. It's my pleasure to know a lot of 3S players, and I'm meeting a lot of new players tonight. I think for the offer X up, I think I'm good for now, but maybe next time, if you wouldn't mind. Billy Bob vs. Neon. Billy Bob looked really cool in his first game on stream. That was in Winner's Round 1. Neon's a friend of this channel, a very strong Oro player. If I had to guess, I'd say that Neon has the advantage here. Billy Bob is the underdog. Let's see if he can make something happen. Neon Riot gets a pretty definitive first round there. Fighting a strong Oro in this game is really, really frustrating. One thing I'm really grateful for is the streamers to see a lot of players at all different skill levels. Some players I know are really, really high level players. Some like me and Neon are somewhere in the middle. Some players on this channel are quite a lot newer to the game. And that's why this game has survived for 22 years, guys. They have new players all the time. Thank you guys for entering tonight. Oh no. Yeah, Billy Bob kind of trying to figure out what to do here. I like that he's running away. Like, I feel like a lot of uh, players are kind of picking the game up and learning it, over it on the offensive aspect of the game. I like to see Billy Bob kind of make some space here and trying to buy time. If you a player like Neon Riot, if you can survive to the 50 second mark, then that's no small feat. You win. That's one for Neon Riot. Though. Now, find a new rival. Welcome to the world of the Street Fighter well, Street. Yeah. Prepare for the battle. Are you ready? Go. We do brackets, Gorka. Yeah, on this channel. Almost every Tuesday is a tournament, and every other Thursday is always a 3 tournament here. Okay, again, Billy Bob kind of running away to full screen. When I was a new player as well, I always ran away full screen because I kind of feel like if you don't really know your opponent's tools that well, you feel like you can be hit from anywhere, right? You kind of feel like you don't want to come too close because you always get hit whenever you come close. Almost got stunned. Okay, he sweeps his way out. Good block on the uh, Crouching Fierce there. Billy Bob. Get the knockdown. Kind of close in a little bit of distance when he sees the knockdown. Good block. Get him to the point. He almost gets it, though. I like where his head is at. It's not going to connect. I like how Billy Bob saw that uh, that bounced off chicken leg and dashed after it, tried to punish it, but they didn't quite get it. That might be chip there. Neon one round away from advancing. Billy Bob on his last life here. Yeah, it's not safe, but Billy Bob doesn't really have a lot of meter to punish it. I think that Akuma can't punish it at that range without having Burr. Hmm. Okay, once again, sweeps out. Anti-air from Neon Riot. Gonna be a lot of chip damage again. Goki has a very small health bar in this game. 
Is Bones not available at Night Breathe? Thanks for letting me know, dude. Just go ahead and keep at pinging him at Night Breathe. Keep pinging him. And if I need your score before the next round and Bones is not there, we'll disqualify his ass. That's what I like to do. Good games to Neon Riot and to Billy Bob. Unfortunately, Billy gets knocked down. That means that our next uh, match on stream is going to be... Um, I think that we said it was going to be... Let me double check here. Goss and Quote, right? Let me actually verify that on Discord. I believe it's Goss and Quote. It is. Oh, it's going to be sick. At Goss, at Quote. Your match is up on stream. Please fight now. Thank you, Liquid Ted. I'm sorry. Yeah, Liquid Ted, uh, Crook did get disqualified. Let me actually advance Liquid Ted in the Hades bracket, if that's where he is. We need Quote and we need Goss on stream, please. Let me find out where Liquid Ted is here. We're going to advance him over Crook. Crook's a very good sport about it. Unfortunately, he's getting disqualified tonight. Okay, let me see. Gorka can fight Liquid Ted. Gorka, Liquid Ted, please fight off stream. Goss and Quote, please fight on stream. Here they are. Thank you for your patience, guys. Thank you, Gorka. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Crook, Crook is, uh, is disqualified, unfortunately. Seems like a top tier individual. Yeah. He's on Wi-Fi tonight. Quote versus Goss. We're our last set in Paradise Round 2 on stream. Welcome to the world. Here we go. So Quote is running the uh, the gauntlet of Alex players in, I guess. Run the Alex gauntlet. He fought Guru Slum, who was quite scary. Goss is a player I know personally who's a very strong Alex. I wonder if he'll do any better than Guru Slum did. But Guru Slum was no slouch either. Welcome aboard, Joel. Thank you for the support, dog. Okay, weird little stutter there. Dude, Quote is so sick. Okay. First round goes to Quote. By the way, guys, for the tournament tonight, Goss entered a shout out. Goss's shout out for the tournament is shout outs to my homies down in the 956 area of Texas. Much love to the 956 guys from Goss. Oh, at the punish. Okay. Put at the corner here. Making life hard for Goss. Goss slowly but surely finding his way in. I like that uh, anti-air uh, cold blue kick. Getting on Remy so hard. He has so many options to kind of keep you sort of uh, mid-screen. Oh no, what a drop from Goss! Oh, you hate to see it. That's one for quote. Goss had that round there. Drops his flash chop. Happens to me all the time. As a fellow Alex player. Goss had a chance to get his life back. But quote advances... Through the first game. Into the heat of battle. Go for it. Goss now. Down by again. Oh my god. Oh, deep jumping fierce. In this matchup, it's kind of crazy. It's so hard for Alex to get in, but once he's in, he gets so much damage. Remy has a very small health bar. Alex is a huge damage dealer. Don't feel too bad for Alex because he has to creep his way across the screen. Once he gets that jumping fierce man, that is just all he needs is a couple of those. Okay. Air to air there from Goss. Goss wants to kill, kill him right now. He has him in the corner. But for how long? Oh my god. Code escapes. Well timed stomp there from Goss to go over the EX uh, Light of Virtue. Goss takes first round in game two. Oh, 
Oh man. Good anti here there from quote. What's a tick grab? Goss throw text. Oh no, a little too high there. Remy's got a very small crouching hitbox. Goss has the corner, that's what Alex likes. Punish that shit! Still has bar. Oh, kind of slow there. Didn't want to get DP'd, I guess. He didn't apply much pressure. He was scared of getting parried. Goss has to build some EX bar now. Oh man, we're seeing quick a lot of mileage of that jumping high uh fierce into landing grip. Might be his uh, medium punch actually. That little elbow he does in the air. Goss grabs him right through the LOV. Goss ties it up now 1-1. One, one. one of these two is going to a loser's bracket. Now, Let's find out who. Find a new rival. Welcome to the world of the team. Well, yeah, I'm waiting for the battle. Fighting is ready. Engage. I wonder how Guru Slum's doing in the Hades bracket. I'm kind of invested in Guru Slum's run just because he's another Alex player I've not seen before. That Alex is pretty grimy. I like that shit. Oh no, Guru Slum! He says, I died. Good games, Guru Slum. Nice to meet you, man. Okay. Can I get an F in the chat for Guru Slum, please? Oh! Oh no. Thank you, Mac. Thank you, Neon. This cool character is no fucking joke. Love seeing strong armies on Fight Gate. Maybe they'll give sub whole horse. Oh my god! Quote just kind of blowing his meter quite uh, liberally. He's getting the job done, though. Goss now on his last life in the Paradise Bracket. He has to win this round to stay alive for one more round. Engage. Oh man, Goth being so patient here. Nice throw tech. Wow. What a combo from Quote! I've never seen it for my life! Ah, oh, it's a pony! Who is Quote? Hashtag who is Quote? What an amazing combo! Not looking for Goss right now. Thank you, Liquid Ted. Please report scores on Challenge, though, Liquid Ted. Don't report scores in Twitch chat, guys, or on Discord. Unless you have an erroneously reported score. Oh, wow! Good idea from Goss there, but the court kind of escapes. Oh, good fucking games! Yo, let's go quote! Goss descends into the Hades bracket. Quote looking so good right now. Dark Horse Remy player. Coming out of nowhere. And taking souls. Wow, you guys are amazing. Look at all the games in Winners Round 2 are done. You guys are like freaking the best players I've ever seen in terms of, you know, coordinating, uh, coordinating for the tournament. We can get Goss versus Keystone off stream now. Look at you guys. You guys are just moving it along. Wow, fantastic. All right, so now we have to pick between uh, these sets. We'll do three on stream of these, what, five? Oh, Exo versus Omnirama could be good. Nipperman and Neon Riot. KD and Kirby Fur, a uh, Kirby Kirby. Decoy and Quote. Here's what I do, guys. We're going to do uh, KD and Kirby Kirby on stream. I've not seen Kirby Kirby play yet. At Kdalpha and Kirby Kirby. Your match uh, will be on stream. Please wait. Likewise, we're going to do um, uh, Decoy and Quote on stream. We're watching a lot of Quote tonight. Your match will be on stream. Please wait. And finally, let's do, um, I'm thinking, well, we've got Nipper and Neon Riot and Exo and Oni Ramen. Ugh. Why don't we do a Nipper Man and Neon Riot on stream? A very tough decision there. Nipper Man, Neon Riot. You guys will be on stream. Uh, please wait. At Quarantine Rapport, everybody else, please fight off stream for this round and report your scores on Challenge. Here's a dis ghost ghosting Exo, Kirby. I think we're seeing quite a lot of Exo in, uh, in top eight. But why don't we start off here on stream with um, uh, Nipper Man versus Neon Riot? Nipper Man, Neon Riot. 
Please fight now. Excellent, guys. Excellent. This is going more smoothly than I could, uh, could have possibly imagined. You guys are such great sports. Here we go. Nipper versus Neon Riot on stream now, guys. We're now in, uh, in winner's round three. Let's get it. Before top eight, guys, I'm going to read some more of these shout-outs. I, uh, I tried something a little bit new with tonight's tournament. We're doing um, shout-outs from those that entered kind of early. Those who early uh, early registered can actually enter a shout out for the tournament tonight. Thank you, Billy Bob, who we saw earlier. Billy Bob once again says here, just want to say uh, that everyone watching is worthy of being happy. Keep fighting and stay strong. Into the heat of battle. Ironically, quote has no quote. Look at the stack, old horse. Nipper versus Neon Riot, guys. Both players I've seen on the stream before here on Blinkabot. Neon's a longtime friend of the channel. Nipperman's kind of new on this channel, but not a new player at all. He's a Chicago player. Neon from Ohio. Nipper's rocking the dungeon tonight. A very scary, very degenerate super. Likewise, Neon Riot rocking SA2 Oro. Definitely not the most honest super in the game. Let's see how this plays out. Both strong players at the hashtag high intermediate level of play. Oh my god, the nooch. You can't try to get a kill here. Oh my god. Nipper goes in the second round with full Denjin. If you guys are new to watching Third Strike, guys, Denjin is a super that's unblockable and does insane stun damage. It is, to my knowledge, the only inherently unblockable super in the game, not including grabs. You have to parry it if you want to not eat that uh, stun damage. If you don't parry it, you're going to get stunned and you're going to get a huge combo. Uh, right at the top of your head. You don't want that. Here's the corner. Nice parry from Neon right there. Gonna had to parry that or we had to uh, deal with a combo from Nipper. Deep, deep, deep jumping, uh, to me, crouching fierce from Nipper Man there. And third strike, guys, anti airs are kind of tricky. They're not like other fighting games. You have to vary your timing of your anti air or you're gonna get parried. So Nipper there does the crouching fierce at the very last possible moment. Oh, it's not safe! Oh no, I think that Nipper could have looked forward to that. And Nipper spends his precious. Oh my god. He spends his precious bar on the EX Fireball. Makes just enough space to jump in and hit that uh, jumping fierce. Third round. That is safe at that range. Oro's startup on SA2 is very, very long. Oh, what a punish. Gets a stun. Look at the damage. Oh, my God. That's one game for Nipper Man. You win. Now, find a new rival. Welcome to the world of the streets. I got the picture paired for battle. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. So brutal horse. Welcome aboard, horse, by the way. Nice to have you here tonight, dude. Not sure I greeted you formally. Prepare to strike now. Here we go, guys. Winners round three. We're getting mighty close to top eight. At top eight, guys, all matches will be streamed, including the lower bracket. Oh, yo, Neon's a god, dude. Neon's a god. Er to Earth, blue leg DPs. Yo, Nipper's looking quite dominant right now. Neon's gonna have to adjust. So, uh, Oral's a very strong character in this game, but he suffers against Shodos. Shodos, you know, uh, thick ass hitboxes uh, and relatively long reach make it very hard for him. Standing around house anti ear. Oh wow, Neon waited to get his uh, punish on that parry till he landed. Goes for the launch. SA1 Oro to get through the dungeon. Oh, I see. Oh wow, delayed standing strong. 
Nipper takes it 2-0 over Neon Riot. You win. Sending Neon down to the Hades bracket. Good games, gentlemen. Nipper was a very excellent anti-ears in that set. Very creative anti-ears. And third striking, that's so important. Up next on stream, we're going to do KD Alpha versus Kirby Kirby. I'm going to let him know. Kirby Kirby. KD Alpha. You guys are on stream now. Please fight. Colon D. Colon D. Well played, Nipper. Well played. What am I seeing that set run back? Here we go, guys. KD and Kirby Kirby. KD Alpha is the community leader for the Houston FTC, uh, for third track, I should say. He's the 3S uh, TO in Houston, Texas. Kirby Kirby, I have no clue who this guy is. That's great. I'm really uh, grateful to have met a lot of new players tonight, guys. I've met a lot of new players tonight. Wish we could see more of them on stream, to be honest. KD Alpha, maybe rocking his old main or Yang. Kirby Kirby playing uh, SA2 Makoto, SA1 Makoto. I love SA1 Makoto, guys. I really hate Makoto, but for some reason I love SA1 Makoto. I love seeing those links. I'll go with Dudley after all. So Dudley is a uh, KD Alpha's main. He did play Yang before Dudley. But Dudley is his character he plays primarily. Hey, Kirby has the corner now. Nice pressure there. That standing strong she put out there is so plus on block, it's insane. It's so scary when she presses it on top of your wake up. Okay, interesting option there to crouch and short and jump back roundhouse. Kind of uh, demonstrates Kirby's psychology a bit as a more defensive player. See him dashing back a lot there. Yeah, making a lot of space. Oh my god. Dash up Karaksa. There's the link. Big damage. Small likely for Kirby, but uh, Dudley has a huge health bar. <gasps> wow! Jumping roundhouse lasts that long in the air? I had no idea. She jumped up and pressed it and hit him on the way down with it. That's wild. Very tricky. Oh, the roundhouse buffer and EX machine gun blow from KD Alpha. That's an option to that range. Parry into Karaksa. Pretty grimy. Spins bar on EX. Oh! Caught the backswing blow. EXDP, get off me. Okay, neutral jumps. So we see Katie now saying, okay, this chick likes to dash and grab a lot. I need to fucking stay neutral jumping. Okay, Katie didn't believe in the cartoon short there. I right, stay in the air, dog. We see Kirby trying to adjust now by doing a lot of, like, aerial buttons. Trying to keep uh, Katie out of the air. There's the punish that Katie wanted right there. At that range, yeah, you guys have trouble with Makoto and she's dashing a lot and getting, like, Kadoxas. Make sure you're neutral jumping at her dash range. Go for it. That's uh, uh, advice I got from my mentor way back in the day. It's so good against Makoto players if, our, if they're not necessarily at the top of the game. And they really rely on dash up grab a lot and Hayate a lot. Good block, here's a punish. Stand at their dashing range and neutral jump. You can punish both the Hayate dash punch and the dash up grab at that range. Okay, target combo. Here's a chance for Kirby. Wow, what a parry there. Better parry more than once. Katie gets the first game. You win. You have no now, find a new rival. Good stuff. What's up, Genesis? Yeah, this Dudley is one of the strongest players in the country, Genesis, if you ask me. Katie Alpha is no slouch. Online play is not his favorite uh, theater, put it that way. But he's a very, very strong player, and again, he's actually a community leader. He runs third strike in Houston, and I think one of the best players in the country. Ooh, what a parry there on the Hayate. Big time punish. Do glaze. Has the corner now. I pair that more than once. Nice duff there from KD Alpha. Once again, those target combos are so hard to deal with. Kirby uh, doing those single parries. KD taking advantage with Dudley's strong target combo, uh, target combo game. Are you ready? Go! <laughs> Nice parry there on the way up. Let's go for the full Courtney Miller. Ooh, the pressure. Good blocks from Kirby Kirby. Good patience. You'd love to see it. Katie drops his combo there. Too far for the grab. There's a very short grab range. Schweppes. Confirms. That's it. Good games, guys. Kirby Kirby looks great. He's still alive. 
This is the winner's side, guys. Everyone that loses here still has some games in the loser's bracket before they're eliminated. But wow, what a showing there from both players. KD advances 2-0 over Kirby Kirby. Let me adjust the scores here. Good games. Up next on stream, guys, we're going to have Decoy Mandizen Quote. We have watched Quote at every level of this tournament. He's really fun to watch, but really it's more about me um, wanting to get players on stream tonight that I don't usually see on this channel. And Decoy is a player I haven't seen in a very long time. Quote is a new player to the channel. Please play now on stream. And by that virtue, we've seen Quote uh, a lot tonight. But I ain't mad about that. It's cool seeing a Remy player. If you guys are new to watching 3S, Remy is a very low-tier character. He's very hard to play. He gets very little damage in this game. But Quote is um, clearly a very strong player. <laughs> Good game to Kirby. One bell cheering for Quote in the chat. Decoy Man is a personal friend of mine, a player from California. He's also honorary Michigan FGC. For reasons unknown, this dude flies out from California to play in our Michigan events. He's never lived here, he just flies out here to play with us. He's essentially a Michigan FGC player, even though he's down there in California. He also plays, I believe, with the, uh, with the boys at the... Uh, at the... Uh, fuck, I can't think of that screen name right now. Trust me, guys, he's grinding this game. He's a, one of the rare chuns that plays at a, you know, a, kind of a, a decent level without needing confirms. He does not confirm his low forward, which is a huge weakness for him. Chun is a very strong character in this game, though. doesn't necessarily need it uh, against a lot of players up to a certain skill level. And Decoy is very strong in many respects. But confirming that one. Let's see if that bites him in the ass here. Quote takes the first round. Go! Supercuts, thank you, Neon. Supercuts, thank you, thank you. I, all I could think of was the boiler room, Neon. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, boiler room? All right, that's cool. Unless no, the boiler room. It's not Don's. Supercuts. Empty yump grip. Genesis says, "I love watching Remy when he gets to corner. He's allowed to be so aggressive." Yeah, he really is. Right? Some kind of, kind of, you know. Okay, yeah, it's not gonna punch Remy. So Chun can super through fireballs, which is sick, but LOVs recover very fast. Yeah, Remy, he's a terrible character, and he, you know, he excels at, you know, at full screen like this. But when he has you in the corner, man, don't sleep on his fucking buttons. Yeah, not that he's a good character, don't get me wrong. Other characters have better buttons. But he is, uh, he can do stuff. Yeah, exactly, Genesis. So Genesis points out in the chat that Chun Super is weird because it has no invulnerability, but it's so fast it just ignores fireballs. She's phasing through, exactly, Genesis. So it's a kind of a little known fact. Genesis in the chat demonstrating some pretty deep knowledge about Third Strike. Some people are erroneously believe that Chun Super has like like eye frames for fireballs, but really she teleports through fireballs. She teleports across the screen during her super. That's why she goes through stuff. Not because she's invincible at all. What the fuck? Just that crouching MK hit behind him? That was sick. Are you ready? Go! Yo, Quote looking so dominant here, man. You're on a dark horse. Hashtag who is Quote. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my... Good fucking games to quote who advances 2-0 over Decoy Mandis. Wow. That's gotta be top three Remy's I'm aware of in the US. Okay, so let's advance uh, quote 2-0 over Decoy Mandis. Now we're gonna be in top eight, guys. From this point onward, all matches are going to be on stream uh, within top eight. Let's see how the uh, Hades bracket is coming along. So that was 2-0 for quote. So let's see. Now we're in top eight winner's side. Please wait, guys. How's it going to come in here on the Hades bracket? Oh, it's coming along. But let's um, watch some of these matches, guys. 
So let me actually hit these people up. Let's see here. So I'm not sure if people are actually playing. Let's see. So we got Billy Bob voting Neon Riot right now. Okay. Not sure what's going on here. So did Billy Bob... Why is Billy Bob fighting Neon? Do I misunderstand something here? Kirby's fighting Fun in the Chill, and that's Audrey Apples. Excellent. And Decoy is fighting... Excuse me. Uh, and... Uh, only Rem is fighting uh, Robib. Okay. So where is... Oh, so Billy Bob... Did I not knock Billy Bob down? Where is Billy Bob? Thank you for your patience, guys. I appear to be a little bit lost here. What's going on with Goss and Bones? I see Bones in the chat. Who won Goss versus Bones? So, Genesis, this is, this is Quarantine Report, guys. As a reminder, this is Quarantine Report, a charity tournament as a part of a much larger online event. Guys, use that event command in the chat to learn all about that. Ta-da! Also, guys, it's for charity. Make sure you guys donate. We're trying to raise money. Let's watch Goss versus Bones on stream, guys, because they are going to be fighting now. I'm going to ask um, Decoy and Liquid Ted to fight off stream, please. So we're going to, here's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to watch Goss and Bones on stream. We're going to watch the next match on stream as well. Then we're going to be in top eight. I don't need to watch this, guys. So we're going to be in the Hades bracket, the losers bracket, guys. This is going to be a uh, losers. Uh, what round is this? I don't know. It's just losers bracket. Here we go. Goss versus Bones on stream. So from this point on, guys, all matches not already underway will be on stream. Thanks for reminder, whole horse guys. The MXC bracket. From this point on, guys, all matches not already underway will be on stream. I'm going to let the guys know. So we have some kind of issue here as well. MXC bracket. Don't get eliminated. Let's see what's going on here with Bones and Goss. Don't get eliminated. You guys have any problems on your side? You guys having trouble connecting or what? Hmm. We're in. While we watch this, guys, I'm going to let people know on Discord what's going on. At Quarantine Report. Well, I got the picture. Are you ready? All matches Go. not already underway will be on stream. I'll let you know here. When you're up. So this is Goss, Alex Genesis. We have Bones playing Yang. Yang is my favorite character that, got, uh, that Bones played. Actually, I kind of like his Necro more, to be honest. So Bones is a longtime Sean player who I've given nothing but disrespect for for playing Sean and playing him at a level where it's sort of like really gimmicky. He's been playing Yang and Necro lately, and I like them both way more than this Sean. GG's apples. Hope you feel better tonight, apples. So it's hard to hear you in a rough day. Carrying the power of Bium. Goss takes the first game there. Let's see if Bones switches. I think, honestly, I think that Bones should go Necro. But what do I know? Play who your, uh, play who your heart tells you to play Bones. But I think that Bones Necro has a shot. Oh, here we go. Okay, guys, this is going to be a lot of fun. So Bones rocking SA3 Necro here. Electric Snake versus Goss, SA2 Alex. Excellent. So this matchup is around 5-5. I like fighting it a lot as an Alex player because I fight a lot of Necros, so for me it's sort of familiar. But I don't know about Goss, if he fights a lot of Necros or not. Let's see if uh, Bones can sort of uh, can sort of blow Goss up. 
Let's see us go even. Boom sets the corner. Flying Viper puts Goss on his ass. Goss stays in the corner, doesn't jump out. Boom misses his combo in the corner there. Excellent confirmed Electric Snake. Dude, Goss, excuse me, Bones playing honest. You'd love to see it. Goes for a tick into something. Gets grabbed out of it, though. Nice block from Bones. No punish, though. Could have been clutch. Oh, if Bones loses now. Oh, no. We can't get the killing blow. Finally, he cinches it out there. Bones up by a round in the second game. Wasn't it great, Genesis? Yeah, the target combo into Super. Nice confirm there from Bones, though. That launch is very hard to grab. Goss goes to the grab there, but gets blown up. Not a great combo from Bones, though, on that uh, on the launch. Okay. And that's not the punish, but Bones being kind of uh, kind of uh, conservative after that uh, uh, spin hook is blocked. Nice basic on that sweep. Corner pressure from Bones. The block on the slow overhead. That's the Rising Cobra, or the Nero, it's called. Well, that's not safe. No punish there from Goss, though. Close to the power bomb. Bones jumps out, but misses whatever he wanted there. Oh, no, it doesn't block the whole, um, uh, meaty. Once again, confirmed Electric Snake. Kills with electricity, very smart. We're now 1-1. One, one. I love Goss, guys. He's a great dude and a fellow Alex player. But I'm gonna agree with you guys. I'm kind of cheering for Bones. I'll tell you why. Because Bones on this channel, he's been here for a very long time. And, uh, he doesn't typically... Uh, place very high in tournaments like this one. And I think that if he knocks out Goss here, he'll be quite an upset. And I'd love to see him actually having some success with his new characters. After years of playing Sean here, and uh, just sort of gimmicking around, I'd love to see him playing characters more seriously. And for him to beat Goss would be a, probably his biggest accomplishment on this channel ever. Nice anti-air there from Goss. Gets Oki now. Nice. Gotta be a little closer than that. Why do you jab there? Good block on the Flying Viper. Goss can still come back here. Just needs to land one solid hit and a mix-up. Oh, not a great trade. Goss on his last life here on the winner's side. Sorry, this is for elimination. This is for elimination, guys. Holy fuck. This is the MXC bracket. What a block there from Goss. I like that. He was kind of stuck there in the uh, proximity block. Okay, well, the uh, back mean punch it gets uh, blown up by the jumping feet uh, roundhouse. That's confirmed from Bones there again. Electric Snake. There's another one on deck now. Goss looking good this round. That's not a combo. Bones has the corner, but he loses it. Wow, B uh, Goss very respectful on that wake up. That's what he was afraid of. It's very hard to meet Necro. He's got a very fast wake up. Okay, that might be a punch there, honestly. Last round, guys, for elimination. Who's going to stay alive and who's going to get eliminated here, guys? Bones dashes up. Pushing Goss into the corner now. Goss with the pi Oh, raw super. No punish. Goss misses the EX there. Hey, what happens. That's not safe. There's the punish. Let's go, Goss. Character knowledge. You cannot uh, snake fang Alex's elbow like that. Another punish. Oh, my God. Goss, not afraid of Necro. He knows what's up. Bones applying all kinds of fucking pressure. Oh my god, a little shimmy in the corner there. Oh my god. Goss, nice little life lead now. Finally, that fucking uh, Rising Cobra connects. Bones, so much bar. Raw, crouching fierce. Crouching short super, not gonna kill, I don't think, but it will. Oh my god. Good fucking games. Bones, you played great, man. Love seeing that Necro. Goss advances 2-1 over Bones. Up next, guys, we're going to do Goss versus Neon Riot on stream. I'm not going to bother pinging these guys. I'm going to presume that uh, one or both are watching the stream. Maybe that's erroneous of me. Goss and Neon, please fight next on stream. Then we will be in top eight, guys. Robibs is Bones' favorite Thrift player, and Quote says that he agrees. Thank you for the raid, Cactu Ken. Welcome aboard, guys. Why is why do we have Billy Bob? Looks like some kind of freeze here. That looks like some kind of bug or something, huh? It was neon elsewhere. There we go. I see. Yeah, that's weird. Here we go. 
After this, guys, is top eight. We're now in MXC round four. I'm gonna check this score as well here. This is a set I've seen many times on the stream. Both good friends, Goss versus Neon Riot. Goss out of Virginia right now, formerly of uh, Texas, McAllen area. Neon Riot from Ohio. Both these players have been on their grind lately and leveling up on Fight K2. Neon has seen a huge level up. Goss is a player I look up to as an Alex player in many respects. He has excellent execution. Looking board, hee hee. Okay, wow, that's disgusting. Okay, goes for the reset instead of the uh, unblockable. I don't think I like that decision. How did Dennison go, Cactu? Okay, a little punish there from Neon, better than nothing. Good block from Goss. Gets to punish as well. Looks like a long round. Neon can kill here, just has to get this combo. It's not easy! Oh, that was such a sick setup! Oh my god. Is that true, Cactu? Lots of players from UK and France, that's nice. I gotta get my friend Connor on your channel, Cactu. I have a friend named Dandy Dante Gameplay who's trying to get a third strike in London. I'm not sure if he actually hangs out on your channel or not, but I hope that he does, and if he doesn't, then I'm going to make sure he does. He needs more players from that area to play with. That was gross here to brain, right? So I'm saying that a little bit. Jinta says that Oro's chicken stuff is so dangerous, but he needs it, huh? And I says, shut up! Yeah, nobody likes fighting a good Oro. It's very frustrating. But uh, I think Jinta is right, honestly. It is really annoying to deal with, but Oro is not a great character until you account for, you know, his unblockable and shit and his gimmicks, at that point, he becomes a very good character. It's kind of interesting that way, right? He's just not a great character unless you factor in his, his gimmicks, in which case he becomes surprisingly quite strong. The end first game for Goss. This is for elimination, guys. You win. After this is going to be top eight, now, every match on stream. Before top eight, I'm going to take a battles. break of like two minutes and talk about quarantine report a little bit. Talk about the players. And then get in there. Go to board, Rocker Ride. So he, he in the chat raises a very good point. He says, how is Oro not considered the best character in the game when he basically has an auto kill once he lands one combo? He he, you're a very strong player and I respect you highly. If you tell me that Oro is the best character in this game, I'll believe you. Dude. And I'll say it on stream for all these people that Oro is the best character. What do you guys think? Okay, crouching strong dash. Good block. Oh, a little punish there. Didn't get the whole thing though. Oh, no. <laughs> Karu, well said, dude. Just parry the unblockable. Just parry him, dude. That's what I'm saying. Prepare to strike now. Okay, Neon backdashing away. It's not really that important this matchup, though. Really, Oro doesn't have to backdash full screen against Alex. You want to be right around there, yeah. Okay, get patience there from Neon. Anti year of the Dragon Punch. He says that, in his opinion, Ryu Denjin is the best character in this game. Ryu Denjin is so fucking frustrating. Oh, it's a little reset there from Goss. Too early in the grab attempt, and Neon gets a huge punish here. Oh no. This should be it. If Neon can make it work. Oh, very tricky. Oh, let's go, Goss. Wow. Punish that shit. Oh, I could have got more than that. Oh, no. Gave him a high parry? You don't want to do that. Okay. Yeah, make something work there. Good block in the overhead. Oh, no. MDM grib. So scary here for Goss. Oh, 
Well done from Neon Riot. He knocks Goss out of the tournament in the uh, elimination bracket, MXC. What do you always say? That is a 2-0 for Neon Riot, guys. We are now in top eight. Before we play any more matches on stream, I want to look at who's in top eight and look at who's already been eliminated, guys. Much love to all you guys. In top eight, on the winner's side, we have Exo and Nipperman. We have uh, KD Alpha and Quote. Well, Quote's been playing so great tonight. In the loser side, or the Hades bracket, or the MXC bracket, we have Neon Riot and Oni Ramen, Liquid Ted and Kirby Kirby. Those are our top eight for nice tournament, guys. Thank you to all those that played and unfortunately had to get eliminated here. Some of these guys I couldn't even watch play once. That's so annoying, but it's kind of how things go when you have a big tournament like this, guys. Thank you, Lust the Crust, for playing. Lust is a friend of this channel here. Kind of a learning player. Good games to him, man. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. Thank you to Keystone for playing. He kind of had some trouble getting into the, uh, into the lobby and stuff, but he finally got in, and it's, I'm glad that he did. Unfortunately, we lost Crook Cook before the tournament even started here. Maybe next time, dog. Hopefully, he can come play with us next time. I would uh, look forward to that. Nightbreed, good games, dog. He loses the bones, unfortunately. Kyo Chan Bridge, a player I didn't see play even once. Come back on Tuesday, Kyo Chan. I'd like to see you play. Good games. Likewise, the Time Bomb. Pleasure seeing you play tonight in the uh, winner's side. Good games, dude. Seems like a, like a learning player. Billy Bob, an Akuma player here. We saw it take one game in winner's side, but he loses here to Can Can McCann in the uh, Hades bracket. Good games to Billy Bob. Gorka, pleasure meeting you, man. You've been very pleasant in the chat tonight. See you around. Good games. Yuri Bacon, likewise. Thank you for being a supporter of this event. I, didn't, I don't think we actually watched you play once. I think we uh, me, had all of your matches off stream. But good games in any case. Hopefully we can meet again sometime. EFC player, that is Guru Slum. Man, your Alex was so cool, man. Good games. As an Alex player, I love to see strong Alex. That was really dope. Good game with quote on stream earlier. Good games to all you guys. Good games to Bones, of course. He played great tonight. That Necro was super, super sick against Goss. Good games to Daze, a player we had to watch play once, I believe. But uh, didn't see much more than that. Thank you for coming out, man. Uh, can, can, McCann. Uh, thank you for coming out tonight. Good games. And to uh, the DAC, a player I wanted to see play really bad. Unfortunately, they were limited against Audrey Apples, who's a friend of mine from California. Good games to the DAC. Thank you so much for coming out. Uh, Decoy, good games. Audrey Apples, good games. Adrobib, always a pleasure, dog. Goss, likewise. Glad that I got some chance to watch you play there. Up next is Top 8, guys. Before we advance, though, as a reminder, tonight's tournament is Quarantine Rapport 4. We're raising money for a good cause, guys. Use that donate command in the chat. Exclamation mark donate. Uh, donate. Use that link right there. Click it, guys. Kaboom. We're raising money tonight for, uh, for uh, Direct Relief. They're doing a lot of work against COVID-19 right now, trying to make things... Uh, oh, this is a pretty cool game here. This is, uh, looks like that Maiden Spell game. I'm kind of looking at that. Basically, it's a uh, charity who's uh, trying to raise money for PPE for... Uh, for, uh, I believe, medical personnel as they try to fight against COVID-19 in hospitals all around the country and the world. If you guys want to help out and help us reach our goal, use that donate command in the chat, please. Also, use the event command in the chat to learn more about Quarantine Rapport. It's a really massive online event that has uh, more than 60 games playing. That was a Saturday and tonight, a Sunday. It's going to be a Friday and Saturday. It's been uh, a lot of fun. We had a lot of great tournaments throughout Quarantine Rapport so far. Uh, we're, you're watching Third Strike right now, Street Fighter 3 here on Venkabot. We do Third Strike here at least once a week on Tuesdays, as well as on every other Thursday. If you guys like Third Strike, come by and play with us. We have tournaments running on Tuesdays and again every other Thursday here. Guys, it's been a pleasure. Uh, one last thing before we move on. I want to start uh, thanking some people who registered early and who actually uh, entered in some shout-outs. Those who registered here before, I believe, November 10th had the opportunity to enter a shout-out for the stream. You guys have been uh, really great tonight in terms of making the tournament run smoothly. You guys are like a godsend to a TO like me. You guys just report your own scores very uh, very efficiently. You guys have been great sports. You guys have been showing love to each other. Uh, that means a lot to me personally. As somebody who loves this game and likes to see it grow and th see it thrive. Thank you to a Guru Slum. He says, anybody want to play Eternal Fighter Zero? Hit me up. Guys, hit him up, guys, to play some Eternal Fighter Zero. Also, we've got uh, Kyo-chan, who says, I am Kyo-chan. Have a swaggy day. Thank you, Kyo-chan. You have a swaggy day, Kyo-chan. Thank you so much. Thank you to uh, uh, Mixer or Daze, who says, if I put in any thought into my gameplay, I would risk feeling bad about making a wrong move. So if I just do one thing, there is no responsibility. It's a quote from Psy, apparently. A very a true quote. Thank you, Daze, for sharing that. Thank you to the DAC, whose quote, his shout out was just, the DAC. That might have been an error there. I think he didn't know that was a, a shout out field. But thank you to the DAC. Letting us all know that he is the DAC. Thank you to Neon Riot for entering a shout out. He says, thanks to everyone for the hard work in making this event uh, happen yet again. Get vaccinated. Good idea, Neon. Guys, get vaccinated. 
Thank you to that Mookie Wilson keychain. He couldn't make it tonight. He said, shout out to you guys for every single quarterly report I've been a part of, including my very first 3S tourney. Quarterly, excuse me, uh, yeah, quarterly report number five. So uh, before there was quarantine report because of COVID, there was quarterly report, which is an offline event very similar to this. And that was currently at Mookie Wilson's uh, first ever 3S tournament was quarterly report number five. Thank you Pocky, there, or Etchy Pocky, or Disband the Room for saying, get that ass banned. Thank you to Keystone, who says Keystone is helping with Kirby Fighters 2 Community Edition, and he's really proud to be a part of it. It'd mean a lot if you checked it out. Check out Kirby Fighters 2, guys. Not sure what that is, but if Keystone likes it, it must be good. He's also helping out with that. Thank you for your uh, service, Keystone, to the FGC. Thank you to Gorka. He says, check out Gorka Man on Twitter and itch.io. I make good games. So, guys, Gorka Man is actually a game dev. Check out his games on itch.io. Thank you uh, for sharing that Gorka Man. I'll check that out. KUF Sucks couldn't play tonight. He didn't uh, check in. But he says, follow me on Twitter at KUF Sucks. If you don't have one, then make one and follow me. Uh, quite aggressive, but you kind of have to be sometimes. I respect that. Thank you to uh, Billy Bob for putting on a good show tonight. He says, just wanted to say that everyone watching is worthy of being happy. Keep fighting and stay strong. Uh, thank you, uh, Billy Bob. I'm trying my best. Likewise, you guys do two as I hope. Thank you to Goss, who says, shout out to my homies down in the 956 area of Texas. Much love to the 956. And finally, Time Bomb says, thank you for these tournaments. They are a lot of fun, and I'm very happy to participate in this tournament. Thank you, Time Bomb, for playing on stream. You are a great sport. You can feel you're kind of like a beginner player for Third Strike. Hope you guys stick with it and keep grinding and get stronger. Guys, thank you for your patience. Let's go into top eight here. Winner's side first. It's going to be all on stream. Looks like our first match is going to be um, Exodus versus Oni. It's going to be uh, Exodus versus Nipperman. This is Exo's first time on stream tonight. Let me uh, at uh, Exodus and at Nipperman. You guys are up. Please fight now. <laughs> Kirby says, why did Birch challenge me in Second Impact? Is that crazy, Kirby? Doing winner's side first here. Hope I don't regret that, but I might. Here we go. So, Genesis, Exo's a very strong player in this game. Uh, one of the strongest in the country easily. We've not seen him play yet tonight, not because I don't want to see XO play, but just because he's been fighting a lot of guys I already know uh, for the most part. Let's get XO now versus uh, Nipperman on stream, please, if you guys don't mind. First to two, we're still in top eight here after all. Here we go. If you're right, Kirby. Top eight. Winners. Paradise, I should say. They're in there. I've been streaming 3S tournaments for a long time, guys. I always stream winner's side first. You guys are making me wonder if I shouldn't do that. That's why it's good to have new, uh, new uh, blood in the stream. Oh, Kirby. Oh, good insight. It's been my pleasure to stream 3S tournaments now probably for like three years or so. I've been doing them weekly now for about uh, a year and a half or so. I think maybe I should stream loser side first. You're right.